How do they find their way back to the hive without getting lost? How do they explain to the other bees the way to the source of the flowers? When we examine these questions, we come up with some very interesting facts. On the screen you see a bee that has discovered a source of flowers. The job of this forager bee is to return to the hive and inform the other bees of the place where it found the flowers. As soon as the forager bee returns to its hive, it starts to describe the location of the flower source it has discovered to the other bees. First, it lets the other bees taste the small bit of the nectar it has collected from the flowers, which gives them information about its quality. Then it begins its main task, describing the direction to the flowers. It does this in a very interesting way, by dancing. The forager begins to dance in the middle of the hive by shaking his body. It is difficult to believe, but in the course of this dance, the shaking will give the other bees all the information about where the flowers are located. For example, if the dance is in straight lines towards the upper part of the hive, the source of nutrients is exactly in the direction of the sun. If the flowers are located in the opposite direction, the bee makes lines in that direction. Look, now the bee is dancing towards the right. This shows that the flower source is exactly 90 degrees to the right. And this forager bee is explaining to his nestmates a 45 degree inclination to the left of the sun. But there is a question. The bees explain the direction according to the position of the sun but the sun is continually moving. Every four minutes, the sun moves one degree towards the west, which would lead one to expect that the bees would make an error. However, observations have shown that the bees take account of the sun's movement. As the forager bees give directions, every four minutes, the angle they describe moves one degree to the west. Thanks to this marvelous calculation, the bees never lose their way. The forager bees not only give information about the direction of the flowers, but also the distance to them. The duration of the dance and the number of vibrations let the other bees know the exact distance. They store just enough nutrients for this distance and then set out on the journey. This wonderful specialization of bees was tested in an experiment done in California. In this experiment, three containers of sugar water were placed in three different locations. Shortly afterwards, forager bees discovered these sources. The forager bees that came to the first container were marked with a dot. Those who came to the second container were marked with a line. And those who came to the third container were marked with a plus sign. Minutes later, Bees in the hive were observed carefully watching these forager bees. Scientists also marked with a dot those bees watching forager bees marked with a dot and likewise they marked other bees with the same signs as those of the forager bees they were watching. Some minutes later Bees marked with a dot arrived at the first container. Bees marked with a line arrived at the second container, and those marked with a plus sign came to the third container. So it was proved that the bees in the hive found their direction according to information related by the forager bees.
All these facts should be carefully considered. Where did the bees get their amazing organization? How can a small insect that does not have the faculty of thought or intellect act as a forager? How can it think to search out sources of nutrients and inform its nestmates of them? Even if it thought about it, how could it develop a dance technique to inform the others where the source was located and the distance to it? How can bees in the hive understand the meaning of the complicated movements and vibrations of the messenger bees? Darwin's theory of evolution, which claims that life on Earth came about by chance, has no answer to these questions. Each of these special qualities of bees shows that their creator gave them to them. Allah created them and inspired them to do their work. This fact is in the Quran. Your Lord inspired the bees. Make hives in the mountains and in the trees and in what they build. Then eat of all the fruits and walk in the ways of your Lord submissively. There comes forth from within it a beverage of many colors in which there is a healing for men. Most surely there is a sign in this for people who reflect. There is a remarkable kind of butterfly that lives in southern Canada. The famous monarch butterfly. Every monarch, like every other butterfly, comes into the world after having gone through a perfectly designed series of changes. First, the mother butterfly deposits her eggs on a leaf. The larvae that hatch feed for a time on the leaves before becoming caterpillars. Later, they make a nest called a cocoon for themselves. The cocoon of a monarch butterfly is a wonder of design. It is attached to a branch of a tree with a very slender but strong thread. The caterpillar develops in this cocoon and gradually emerges as a wonderful new creature, a butterfly. At first its wings are flat and lifeless. But they expand as blood is pumped into them.